Alright, hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver version. Uh, I am back again um, because I am very interested in getting things done today. Today being s the remains of Saturday on which I am recording this video. Um, the main thing being, today is a bug catching day, and I really want to do that because I can win some cool stuff for winning the bug catching contest. And I think you get different Pokemon appearing in the National Park during the bug cut catching contest as well. So we'll get, we're going to do that one for sure. But the but in order to do that first, I also want the other thing I want to do is unlock the Pokeathlon because looking at it, uh, another thing that happens on Saturday is the shop in the Pokeathlon uh, sells Leaf Stones at level uh, or excuse me at. Uh, sells Leaf Stones on Saturday, so I don't have to wait for Gina. Gina, and I just have to participate in a whole bunch of Pokeathlons to earn enough for a Leaf Stone. And then I'll be able to evolve my exec Execute into an Executor. Uh, and uh, the reason I want to, the reason such a premium on that, of course, is I've already gotten to level 17. Executor learns a move at level 17, and so I want to take advantage of that. So that's where we're standing right now. Uh, we got everybody ground up to level 19 aside from Desire. Uh, because, um, because <laughs> Whitney's mill tank is an ender of runs. My strategy on, against, against her is going to be basically to stall. Um, I'm going to put in, I'm going to start the fight with, Des with, uh, Desire and land a leech seed. And then I'm going to swap to Fedora, who has my best defense at 38, and then uh, just stall her out, basically. Use Reflect and Synthesis and Razor Leaf to just try and stall her out. Um, I may uh, I may go from Desire, Leech Seed, Reflect, and then swap to Flugelhorn for a Glare, and then and then go to the Bay Leaf. Or I may leave Desire in for a Leech Seed and a Hypnosis, but that would be placing all of my luck on a pretty inaccurate move, only 60, and I, that's risky to me. Um, so I've got a few. I've got a few options. I mean, I hope I, I know that I can't use Saw because he's got almost no defense, and that freaking Mill Tank has Scrappy, so she can hit him with her normal attacks. So I'm kind of in a bind against this stupid Mill Tank because I don't have anybody who strongly resists her. Like a Geo Dude would be wonderful in this fight. It's too bad mine is dead. But let's just do what we can here. We still have to go through the rest of the gym before we get to Whitney anyway. So let's just take care of everything we can and fight off everybody in the gym. Because we got no reason to delay. Uh, we got things to do on Saturday. Uh, so we are going to fight off these guys. Um, honestly, I should probably have Fedora doing most of the fights in this gym. I love how this Sendrit's level 9, which t com which totally and completely fails to prepare you for the fact you're going to have to deal with a level 19 mill tank with Scrappy and all sorts of brutal stats. I mean, good luck. Have fun. Um, yeah, so Fedora is okay. We're going to try to use him a lot this gym uh, so that he can gain a level or two to fight off that freaking mill tank. Uh, I mean, he's wiping out these Sendrit's no problem, but come on, Sendrit. This one's level 16. That could be painful. Okay, Quick Attack only did 6 damage. See, that's what I'm talking about with with Bayleaf's awesome defense. Like, that's going to be really, really useful in this gym. All right. Yeah, I beat you. And, of course, if you didn't know, yeah, this gym looks like a Clefairy. That's the whole point. That's, like, the entire point. Um, but anyway, let's see. We've got another beauty here. Uh, let's swap in... Um, yeah, my face itches. Let's swap in Believe for a fight. Actually, no, you know what? We'll leave Flugelhorn out there. Flugelhorn has been absolutely clutch for us. In whenever we really needed some help, Flugelhorn has been absolutely clutch. So he'll make a handy backup for this fight against Whitney. Um, especially with that Intimidate. I mean, that's I'm tempted. To, honestly, what I'm I'm actually kind of tempted to start off the fight against that Mill Tank with Flugelhorn. Uh, hit it with that Intimidate, and then a Glare, and then uh, hope for the best. Uh, actually, I think I'm definitely going to do that, because that Intimidate could go, could work wonders.
for what to do against that mill tank, and a glare for paralysis will also be extremely handy. Uh, so I'm, I'll probably kill off that Clefairy she's got with, uh, I don't know. I'll probably use uh, Fedora, since Fedora's got the best defense out of anybody, and he can just probably eat up the damage better than anybody else. Uh, yeah, I'm leaving Flugel, Flugelhorn out front. He's just a boss. But against that against that mill tank, he's going to have to be the guy. I mean, I'm, I'm sure of that. Oh, these growls. Irritating. Paralyze it, Flugelhorn. That's good. Okay, now... Flinch para hacks. Really? You haven't been paralyzed once? That's garbage. Oh well. Still one. <laughs> okay. Now then. Let's uh, heal up Flugelhorn because we definitely want him at his best. Yeah. A couple of potions ain't going to hurt. Uh, just one for now. He'll probably take a little bit of damage in the next fight, so. That's probably fine. Okay, did, can't get anywhere that way. Gotta go this way. This way will lead us inside, I think. Maybe. I'm not sure. Um, how do you get inside this place? Hmm. Let's see here. Go around this way again? Uh, okay, down here. And then, oh, I think we can go around her. Yeah, okay. But that doesn't help us at all. Um, oh, we can go this way, through this gate. Yes, okay, that did it. Two more fights. <clears throat> Let's let Flugelhorn get a little bit more action. Shouldn't let my guard down because you're not, uh, because you don't look tough, huh? Okay. I'm not, my guard is not down. Snubble is scary. All right, start this off with a glare. For sure. I'm so, glare is such a great move. Okay, headbutt him away. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Stupid Snubble. Flinch hacks time, bitch. Flinch para hacks. Flinch para hacks. Ah, scary face. That's probably going to mean he attacks first this round. Ah! Paralyzed. Eat a bag of dicks. Good work, Flughorn. Okay. No, I'm not weak. I got this far, didn't I? Who do you think are stronger, boys or girls? I am not sexist. I think each boy and each girl has his own potential to be strong or weak. Right? <laughs> okay, let's do this. Last, last. I like cute Pokemon better than strong Pokemon. But I have strong and cute Pokemon. Well, that's a good solution. Jigglypuff. I thought you said you had strong Pokemon. Uh, Glare, of course. Always a great way to lead off a fight. Pound is going to sting. Ouch, critical. Time for the flinch para hacks. What? You serious? Are you serious, bro? Have a seat. Okay, Flugelhorn's hurting. Another Jigglypuff. Let's swap out. Let's let, have, let's let Believe handle the fight. With hypnosis and headbutt, he should do just fine. Or she, pardon me, only female member of my party. Oh, and no more hypnosising. Then we'll headbutt you. Ah, ha, 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 flinch hacks. My party is full of flinch hacks. Another Jigglypuff. All right, believe can handle this. Flinchity hacks. Flinchity hacks. Ah, damn. Okay, now the headbutt takes care of that last Jigglypuff. All right, okay. Now we're going to go heal, and uh, when I get back, we'll fight Whitney. I'm going to pause the video for now. Okay, I've actually decided that I'm going to let uh, uh, Believe handle the Clefairy. Um, that seems to be the best call for me. Hi, I'm Whitney. You, I saw you at the radio tower just now. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You want to battle? I'm warning you, I'm good. Ah, uh, she's just the popular kid in high school who's always good at everything she tries, even though she doesn't really have the brains to back it up. All right, let's do this. All right, start it off with a hypnosis. Good, I don't want this thing doing any metronomes. All right, good, 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 good. Now that that's done, 
Headbutt all day, every day. Oh, it woke up. Take care of that. Yes. Everything is going according to plan. Back to headbutting all day, every day. Okay, it's half dead. Maybe we can bait out a potion here. Would you be so kind, Whitney? Yes. No potion on that mill tank. That's perfect. Uh-oh. It's going to headbutt back. Or wait, it's now it can headbutt back. Okay, that's what Mimic does. Hypnosis! Yes! Three hits out of three! Believe, you are making me a believer! Headbutt time! Headbutt one, stay asleep! Headbutt two, sit down! Clefairy is down, great! Okay, but Clefairy was child's play. Flugelhorn, you have been perfect for me in every fight that I have needed you. And I need you more than ever now. All right. Step one. Intimidate. Less power is a damn good thing on this thing. Step two. Paralysis. After we get stomped. Damn it. Flinch. Oh, no. It's going to attract. Son of a bitch. Okay. We can still do this. Shit. Well, there goes our ace. All right. Plan B. Desire's got good defense, too. Start with a leech seed. Shite! <laughs> okay. You got him seeded. Okay, now get the hell out of there. Jesus Christ, this fucking mill tank. Mill tank and these goddamn crits. It's unbelievable, this thing. This game. It's really just the mill tank. It's those fucking crits. All right, reflect. Good. All right, now time to just stall this puppy out. Yes, reflect is so good. I can't believe... Oh, man. Flugelhorn. Oh, that's depressing. On the plus side, we got a couple of routes coming up, plus the... Uh, uh, plus the... Uh, National Forest, so we'll be able to catch some replacement Pokemon, but I don't think anybody can replace Flugelhorn. Flugelhorn was the guy that got me through everything, and he's gone. All of all of the shit I had to endure this game, Flugelhorn got me through it. Like, that fight with Silver that I would have lost, dealing with Bugsy that I would have lost, all that stuff that happened. It was all Flugelhorn. And now he's gone. Damn you, Nuzlocke. Damn you, Miltank. I knew I was going to lose somebody in this fight, but f fucking stomp crit? Seriously? God damn it. That's garbage. Didn't even get a chance to glare it to avoid that exact problem happening. That's just garbage. I'm really upset about this. I'm really upset. That shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't have happened. Bullshit. And, and it's not like... Flugelhorn doesn't have good defense. His defense isn't bad at all. Fuck you and your fucking mill tank, Whitney. God damn it. Yeah, yeah. She's gonna whine and moan, bitch and moan. Yeah, cry all you want. You didn't have a Pokemon die. Yours come back. God damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I didn't want to have to bury Flugelhorn, of all people. He's been carrying me this game. Damn you! Urg! You've got to go to the Pokeathlon Dome. Screw off, you bitch. You killed Flugelhorn. I wish I had some way of inserting other sounds into the songs, or into the game, into the, into the videos, so I could play Taps. I'm pissed. I'm pissed. That wasn't supposed to happen. Bullshit crits tally, number one. Everything else worked perfectly. That mill tank couldn't even hurt my bay leaf. Once it got the reflect up, that was me everything else was meaningless. But fucking wiped out. Ah. That bitch. That bitch wiped out Flugelhorn. Damn it, find me a leaf stone. I want to do less work. <sighs> Damn it. 
I'd never raised an Eakins before. And while I had him, he was great. But I guess I don't get to keep raising one. Oh, you know, this wasn't on camera. But uh, another thing, that fire breather Walt who's north of the city, I was grinding like mad for this fight with Whitney because I knew that something like this might happen. And, um... You know, he's got those two Magmars, which it, which is just brutal as hell. And uh, I managed to beat him, you know, despite my crippling weakness to fire, all thanks to Flugelhorn. Like, he got out there and sucked up a couple of embers so I could heal up the guys who were hurt. And I managed to drop him without losing anybody. So he saved me from that, too. That's just sad. It's really sad. Godspeed, Flugelhorn. You carried my ass so far. It's going to have to be to those who remain to keep going. <sighs> Let's go see uh, what level the guys I left in the daycare are. They can fill the gap until I catch some others that I might prefer to have. Sorry if the tone of the video now is going to be kind of depressed because of what happened. Also, let's go ahead and save so we don't lose that progress like we did on Bugsy. Man, Flugelhorn was such a bro, and he had the best name in the party, too. God damn that mill tank. I, 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 was, I was sure I had the best plan. I, I overgrinded. I mean, I didn't overgrind, but I was sure I had the best plan for dealing with that stupid cow. And <sighs> I didn't. I didn't. I couldn't. You can't plan for bullshit crits. You can't plan for bullshit crits. <sighs> Rattata, that's one of the guys I've got in the box. Let's go see how many levels my Rattata and my Hoot Hoot have. They can fill the hole in the party for now. I already took out the Hoot Hoot once to look at it. By level, Smoke has grown by 14 and Weasel has grown by 14. Hey, they're both level 18. Welcome to the party. <laughs> they're both the right kind of level to have in the party. That's good. If I encounter some sort of major difficulty, I've got them on, you know, in, in the bag. They're, they're ready to go if I need them. Let's have a look at you guys. Smoke, you've got uh, Modest Nature. Hypnosis, Peck, Uproar, and Reflect. That's a pretty good set of moves. Your stats are god-awful, but that's to be expected. You've been in the box. Um, and Weasel, you've got your Hyper Fang, Bite, Pursuit, and Focus Energy. I can't complain about that. Uh, the game tossed your Quick Attack, which is a bummer. Um, but yeah, you guys aren't bad. I'm glad to have you back. Now let me go. we got three catches to do, and more than likely, I'm going to wind up with... Uh, couple of people that I'll probably replace those two with, but it's nice to know that I've got them up to an advanced enough level that if something else tragic happens, I can replace them. Now then, um, I've got to catch some things on Route 35. Yeah, obviously, I've fought all these trainers already. <laughs> uh, I'm here at Route 35. Let's see what we get. Neater and Mail. I am totally okay with this. Nido King is an absolute boss. I would love to have one in my party. All right, you got him fairly low, believe. That should be low enough. Now let's toss a hypnosis on him, or, you know, miss, and then we'll try again. And miss, and then we'll try again. <laughs> Damn it. Come on, believe. <laughs> this is payback for that Clefairy. <laughs> Fortunately, it's just against a wild neater and male, so there won't be any major tragedies because of it. Um, I have one fastball. What the hell? It's a different color than everything else. Do 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 do. Yay! Got me a neater and male. Nice. This is okay. Okay, I'm definitely gonna raise you. Nido kings are absolute bosses. But what is your name? We gotta find a name for you. Let's see here. Random noun generator. Uh, your name is going to be Woolen. All right, that's your name, bro. Woolen. There we go. Now then, 
Uh, we gotta go do the uh, national park contest now. Let's chat with this guy. Rules are simple. Using one of your Pokemon, catch a bug Pokemon to be judged. Yep. More than one Pokemon. You'll have to use Believe, the first Pokemon in your party. Is that okay? Yep, he's the one with hypnosis. <laughs> Sport balls for the contest. Okay. Uh, I don't have any special rules for this contest, so I just have to go with what I get first. Um, that's going to be it. I can only catch one Pokemon. So, let's just hope I catch something cool, like a Scyther or a Butterfree. Because that's the only way I'm going to win the contest. What's up? Okay, well. Let's do it. Something good, something good, something good, something good, something good! That's not good! That's bad! That's really bad! I get nothing from this. God damn it. Ah, this is useless. Um. Well, I can't catch nothing. I can't catch nothing. I can't catch nothing. Shite. Son of a balls. Seriously? This game does not want me to catch anything useful in this contest, obviously. So I'll kill it. I'll walk out of here with no bug. I was really hoping I'd get a good bug. Instead, I get nothing at all. That's a damn shame. Oh well. I guess that's the way it happens. Yep, I'm finishing now. No catch at all. I don't even get third place. I could have gotten a stone for this. He caught a pincer and got third place. That's typical. Venonat for second place. I could have one of those. An a Venonat for first place. I'd have much preferred a pincer or Venonat. Instead, I got two Kakunas. I got a Shed Shell. What does that do? I feel so... That's just so wasted. I got... I couldn't... The only option I had was for a Kakuna, and then I missed catching it anyway. That's just so shitty. If only I had evolved Oscar. Then I would have had a Kakuna, and that would have been a duplicate. And I would have been able to skip them. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> what I could have done there. I mean, we've already got one replacement, though. Which I guess is okay. I mean, we caught that... We caught Wulin, who will make an excellent Pokemon, because Nidoran, uh, Nidoking is super solid, so that's okay. Uh, hey, a blue Apricorn. I'll take that. And there's a route over here as well. Now, I could find Vulpix in this route, and that would be super cool if I could catch a Vulpix, because I don't have a Fire-type right now. Uh, there's some other stuff I could catch too, but... If I turn on one of the radio stations, I probably have a lower chance of getting... You know what? Let me check to see what sort of stuff I can get here if I turn on the radio stations. I'll pause the video for a sec. Okay, I learned that if I turn on the Sinnoh sound, I have got a pretty good chance of getting a pretty useful Pokemon. And hopefully Vulpix will still be a possibility, but let's go see what I can get if I turn on the Sinnoh sound. Let's see, where are you, Sinnoh sound? Or actually, what is it? What is the Pokemon music today? It's Saturday. It's Saturday. Time to put your Pokemon to sleep with a soothing Pokemon lullaby. Well, that's useless. Instead, I guess we're just going to have to hope for a Vulpix. I thought I'd be able to use the Sinnoh sound today. Oh, well. Let's hope for a Vulpix. It's not a particularly high shot. A neater and female. Well, one of the nice things about the Nidos is that they've got a really good um, move pool thanks to TMs. So if I have a Nido Queen and a Nido King, they could both have pretty solid move pools that are very varied and differ between the two of them. I think I... I'm, I think, you know, I think I'm pretty happy with a neater and female if I can get one. 
Put it to sleep. Those two growls will help. Yes, go to sleep. All right. Now then. Headbutt. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, one more hypnosis. Put it back to sleep. All right, now then. Let's go ahead and toss some balls. Um, it's uh, the same gender as believe, so love won't work. Let's just use a great ball. That should be fine. Yeah, okay. So I'll tell you what we'll do, folks. I think I'm going to raise a neater in male and a neater in female. <laughs> Why not? Uh, what is her name? Uh, it's going to be Headlight. Cool. Your name is Headlight. H-E-A-D-L-I-G-H-T. Enter. Very cool. Okay, so let's uh, run back to town or wherever the nearest, uh, I think, I've, I think, yeah, let's go through the national park, I think. Um, and we're going to, uh, there's no other exits to the National Park, is there? Moreover, there's items in here i got to grab, too. Like, for instance, that one over there, i got to go get that. I think somebody in here gives you the Quick Claw, too. It's been a while since I played one of these games. I've been running to try and charge the Poke Walker. <laughs> I've got one of those somewhere. I think I may have a Growlithe still on it. Ah, Rock Climb will get me whatever that item is. But what's this item? Sooth Bell. Hey, I don't have any Pokemon that evolve uh, by a friendship yet, but if I get one and decide to raise it, that'll be handy. Uh, is there anything over here? Surely there's something over here, right? I mean, I can get over here, so that means there's something over here, right? It's just a matter of what it is. It's a long way. Jeez, I'm crow. Hey, yep, and there it is. Dig! Hey, now that's handy. One of my Nidorans can get a ground move. Uh, Walt was calling me. I wonder what he had to talk about. Oh, well. It's obviously not that important. <laughs> Is there anything over here? Yep, full heal, hidden. That was a random guess. I was just tapping A as I rode. So that's awesome. I'm still pissed off that I got nothing for the bug catching contest. I think I could have really used a good bug. Move, bug. Like, if I'd gotten a pincer, that would have been like, oh, you are in my party right now. Get in my party. Because that would have been a great thing to have. Unfortunately, I did not have such luck as to catch a pincer. I didn't have such luck as to catch hardly any damn thing. So. They make loud noises as I walk. <laughs> That's cool, I guess. There are trainers in here, aren't there? Are you a trainer? Yeah, okay. We'll fight these trainers. Um... Let me see how long we are into the video. I may want to save some time here. Yeah, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause it. I'm going to take out these trainers. I'll let you guys know if somebody dies. I don't expect that to happen. And then uh, I'll show you guys the result of all of my grinding in the Poke Athlon as well, which is going to be me dropping a Leaf Stone on my Execute. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Actually, come to think of it, I should probably go ahead and just fight these trainers and then just throw that on at the end. Ow! Thank goodness belief is a special wall. Jeez, I'm crow. This could be ugly. Okay, you get out of there. And we're going to put in somebody else who can tank that a little bit better. Somebody who's grass and is resistant to electric attacks. Because, Jesus, Thunderbolt? Ouch. All right. Start this off by healing yourself, Fedora. And if he's, he's going to be using Quick Attack and not Thunderbolt... Drop a reflect as well. Good. Now we'll be fine. Ah, now he thunderbolted. Damn it. <laughs> That's okay. We have synthesis. He's not doing enough damage to really hurt us. I love Bayleaf. He's such a great, great, great wall. Down goes Raichu. Okay. Um, I'm going to go... Actually, what I'm going to do now... I'm going to go heal, and then I'll come back and fight these trainers. <laughs> it's, it's These guys might actually be a little bit dangerous. So, that's what I'm going to do, and I will pause the video, and I will be back in a moment. And just so you guys understand that nothing bad happened with this hoot hoot, there you go. Be back in a bit. Well, I have bad news. I suffered another loss of progress. 
Uh, the game uh, did uh, froze uh, going back into the national park after healing, which means I'm going to have to redo all those catches. And now I'm really actually pissed about it because um, Headlight, the, the neater and female I caught, was adamant, and that would have been absolutely amazing to carry on forward. So basically what, what that means is... I have to do basically everything. I have to do not everything all over again, but some stuff I have to do all over again. Like for instance, I got to pull these two out of the daycare again. I've got to do the I've got to do the bug catching contest again, which is nice, I guess, because that means I I'm this time this time I'm going to um, uh, take out Oscar and go evolve him, so that uh, and I I may evolve him twice all the way into B drill. Uh, and then uh, go do the bug catching contest after that. Um, and then uh, I also have to re-catch uh, Route 35 and Route 36. Uh, and I'm, I'm, and this, at this point, I still am going to have to um, uh, do the Pokeathlon stuff because I hadn't done it yet. So what this basically means is i got to do a lot of that stuff all over again. Um and uh, since so much of it is going to wind up being new again, like the Poke, the, not the Poke Athlon, but the bug catching contest stuff, the catches on 35 and 36, since that stuff's going to be all new, I guess I'll just re record it since it's all going to likely be new stuff. Um, so, yeah, uh, what I'm going to do uh, is go ahead and uh, put that plan into action. Step one, we are going to. Uh, move Pokemon. We're going to get out of box 18. We're going to go grab Oscar. We're going to put him in our party in exchange for the Hoot Hoot. And we're going to go ahead and move Weasel out of the party because we're not going to be using him yet anyway. Uh, next step, we're going to go uh, fight some Pokemon, uh, fight some trainers in the National Park. Uh, I'm not going to trigger the bug catching contest yet. Uh, I am going to... I don't remember if you have to if you if you skip the bug contest by not entering so I'm gonna save before I do that to make sure I can still do it uh, afterwards and uh, I apologize for this video this video is gonna be extra long because of all of that and for that I apologize but I mean you guys don't really mind if it's an extra long video right uh, let me know what you guys think about that because this video is gonna be fairly long because of all the other crap I've got to do that I have to redo because of that loss of progress again. So let's uh, run in here. Okay, cool. So we don't have to trigger the bug contest yet. Okay, can I do you guys give me anything useful? Okay, no. Okay, well, it's okay. We do have Oscar out in front. We're going to have to do some swap battling. Uh, I've got some hurt dudes. Uh, let me take care of that, because if I have to swap one of those guys in, I'd rather they be ready to fight. Uh, I mean, no one's that badly hurt. I don't have any status effects, so it shouldn't be a big deal. And I shouldn't have to use Desire. I don't want to use him anyway, because that would give him experience, and I actually don't want to do that. Sure, take a picture of me. <laughs> Whoa, sorry about that, everybody. He'll catch some of us. At least four of us are still alive. Four of the teams who went to take down Whitney. Thanks, Cameron. I didn't realize you were even there. What do you got? Uh, Quick Claw. Hells yeah. I don't really have anybody who should have that yet. I mean, no one's particularly slow. Even my drowsy isn't super slow. Uh, trainers always want to battle in the grass? Okay. Hmm... You know, I think we gotta, we're gotta. we going to have to do the... Uh, to not miss my chance at those bug Pokemon, we're going to have to uh, do the National Park Bug Catching Contest first. Uh, which means we're going to have to go back to a route where we don't have any catches active uh, to grind Oscar up there. So that's what I'm going to do. We're going to go back down to the route south of Goldenrod, Route 34, and grind him up to Kakuna and just hope we don't run into any bee drills. It's not going to take long to grind him into a Kakuna. A drowsy, no problem. Oscar, yeah, because he was, he was like right there. It was just one fight is all we need. 
Uh, so, swap to Fedora just for a fight. Not going to be a big deal. Uh, Razor Leaf. Probably two of these should take care of business. Or maybe just one. All right, that should do it. As an additional bonus, Fedora's going to get hit. Fedora's going to ding 20 here, which is, you know, just cool. It's nice to see that, too. So, yeah, as previously stated, we're going to evolve him to Kakuna. So, Kakuna is now a duplicate for us, uh, which means that if I run into Kakunas in the bug catching contest, I can, um, I can actually catch something, which is, well, I can skip them anyway. Um... So we're going to take care of uh, putting him back in the box. I really have no intention of using him. Uh, so it wouldn't be fair to take him around to my party. Storage PC, move. Party Pokemon, Oscar, move. Thank you, Oscar, for at least uh, helping us out in that bit. And then we will go ahead and swap out believe back to the front of the party since she's the one with lots of ways of messing with people yes rest 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 so we'll rest and I guess we'll go do the catch on 35 um yeah we'll do that let's go do the catch on route 35 uh back on the bike Oh, yeah, that's another thing you guys missed. Sorry, I grabbed the bike out of the uh, bike shop in, in Goldenrod. Not a big deal, I know. It's not like it's a great momentous event that we have to celebrate on camera. Uh, so, yeah, we'll go ahead and do the Route 35 catch first. It would be cool if I got another Nidoran. They are pretty badass. What do we got? Okay, Nidoran female here. All right, that's cool, I guess. Uh, Start it with a Hypnosis. I hope, you know, I, I hope she's adamant like the last one I caught. Headbutt. Looks like you can take one more of those, Missy. Son of a balls. Well, I guess we don't get a catch on this route. Two bullshit crits. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, let's do the bug catching contest. Yep, I know the, I know the drool. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Sport balls, thank you. 20 minutes. Run out of sport balls, you're done. Keep the last Pokemon you catch as your own. Catch the strongest Pokemon I can find. Well, I only get one shot, so... Whatever floats your boat, bro. Alright, let's run out to the... other grass. For some reason, I think it's better. On the other hand, though, I, the other grass is the one I ran into, the two Kakuna. Let's just hope I have a little bit better luck this time. Okay, that's some luck! Hello, baby. Now, all of a sudden, I'm quite pleased. Okay, hypnosis it up. No, hypnosis it, damn it. Come on, Believe, you can do this. Come on! He's gonna kill you! Hypnosis him! Jesus, that's three leers! Get a hypnosis! Okay! <laughs> One headbutt, that's all you get. Oh Jesus! It's gonna need to. It's gonna take more than that. No, that's four leers. Oh God! Believe is gonna die. Five. Shit. Shit. Oh, false swipe. That that can't kill me. It can't kill me with false swipe. I hope it doesn't have any other moves. Come on, catch it. Damn. Come on, come on. I'm gonna need to headbutt it again, aren't I? No, I don't! Yes! Okay, that's a good catch. That's a really good catch. This is exciting. Okay, this is a... Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm keeping you. I'm leaving right now. This is gonna be no... Here, there's a re retire button. Yes, that's good, that's good enough. <laughs> I got a scyther, I don't fucking believe it! Third is Youngster Samuel, who caught a Weedle. Really? Third place, Weedle? Must have been a high-level Weedle. Bug catcher Ed, who caught a Scyther. He caught a Scyther? My Scyther must be better! What? My Scyther didn't beat a Weedle? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Uh, you know what? I don't even care. I don't even care. The prize is irrelevant. I got to keep a Scyther. 
The, the prize is irrelevant. I don't even care what they would have given me. I got a Scyther. The prize is utterly irrelevant. And his name is... I can't read it. <laughs> his name is Puppy. Awesome. Puppy the Scyther. This is cool. Okay, sweet. All right, so now that that's done, um, we are going to head out of here. We'll go do a catch on uh, Route 36. Um, again, I'm really hoping for a Vulpix. That would be très magnifique if I got a Vulpix. It's like a 10% shot, but that would still be obviously... Like, well, I mean, either Nidoran would be fine too at this point since I, I didn't catch the female on Route 35. But I think a Vulpix would be better. What do I get? Oh, I get a second shot is what I get. All right. You can do this, Believe. Hypnosis it. Damn it. Come on. Come on, it's a 60% chance. It shouldn't miss this often. Seriously? Come on, game. Four misses. Ah, ah, ah. 60% shot by foot. Somebody else can work up the math. Five misses. It's going to kill Believe because I can't hit a fucking... Arg. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come on. Hypnosis. Six misses in a row. I want to I wanna state that this is six misses in a row. Can we get seven? Okay. He finally hit one. Watch it wake up next turn. Headbutt. Yep, woke up next turn. <laughs> what the fuck, game? What did I do to deserve this? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We'll be fine. Hypnosis. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll hit eventually. Come on. Anytime now. I'm going to run out of hypnosis before I actually get this thing. Okay. Good job. You finally got one. Okay. Let's try that fastball since we've only got the one. May as well. It's a different color. That's why I do things. Cool. Got it. Okay. And your name is going to be... Like... I, I could name you Headlight, but you're a different neater and female, so... Uh, your name is going to be... Okay, that's interesting. Pyramid is your name. Okay, let's check the stats. Uh, wh what do you want, Todd? Psyduck is looking more and more like me. It's getting cuter. And you know, we can KO Rattata easily. I should challenge the Goldenrod Gym. <laughs> you do that, Todd. And let me know how it goes. Uh, let's save here now. Now that I'm thinking about it, because we ought to really ought to make that make that happen, and then we'll check the status the stats of our Scyther and Neater and female, um, and then I'm gonna have to go over to the Pokeathlon and just start running things constantly to earn my way up to a Leaf Stone so we can evolve our Execute. Game is saved. All right, let's check our Pokemon out. Puppy, what do you got? Calm nature. What is Calm Nature? Uh, minus Attack plus Special Defense? Well, Minus Attack is no good, but a little better defense is... Well, it doesn't suck. Jesus, that thing had Pursuit. It could have killed Belief. I'm really glad you didn't do that, puppy. And then uh, Pyramid was Timid, yes? Timid is Minus Attack plus Speed. Well... You, Neater, Neater, Needle, King, Needle Queen is more of a wall than a damage dealer anyway. So those are pretty, actually, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Those are awful, awful, awful uh, natures for those two Pokemon. But you know what? You can get around a nature. I mean, you don't have to have the best nature to have success with a Pokemon. So it's okay. Now let's go uh, re-grab these items again. we got to go grab the Soothe Bell over here. Oh, and uh, answer me this, guys. I know I decided on, like, I decided on level 40 uh, for evolving um, Saw. What level do you think I should uh, cheat to evolve? Or I say cheat, but what level do you think I should uh, use to evolve uh, 
uh, puppy into Sizor. Um, because I I'm curious as to what level you guys think that should be. Because I know I want to be able to do that. Normally you can only get a Sizor by trade, of course, which means I can't get one. Um, so if you guys uh, tell me you know, what level I should evolve him, I'll, I'll evolve him at that level. Uh, so that's my question for this episode, is what level should I use to evolve my Scyther into Sizor? Uh, I've already decided, like I said, I already decided on level 40 for the Gengar, which is, I think, acceptable. Um, so that's my question for you guys today. Uh, I'm going to run out to the Pokeathlon Dome now, and I'm going to have to do a metric shit ton of Pokeathlon stuff in order to uh, get my Leaf Stone. And then the last thing you'll see in this video is me evolving my Execute. But that's going to be all for, uh, all until I get done with all that Pokeathlon stuff. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Pause the game. Pause the recording here. Okay, so the thing I've learned in doing this is um, uh, the Pokeathlon is difficult uh, on an emulator. Uh, but I found I can do the strength and jump ones fairly well. It turns out that I've got really good jumpers, but my strength people suck. But anyway, I did earn enough. And I got myself. Hold on. What does this do? What does this do again? Enables the holder to switch the waiting Pokemon in battle. I guess that's kind of cool. But no, that's not what I was here to show. I was here to show this. I got a Leaf Stone. All right, let's get us an Exeggutor. <laughs> it learned something at this level, which is why I wanted to make sure he was level 17 when I evolved him. Yes, very strong Pokemon, and he's just learned Stomp, which is much, much, much better than, well, I was going to say it was much, much better than Uproar, but I, I'm not so sure anymore. His Uproar uses Special, and he's got good Special Attack. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure Stomp isn't as good as Uproar. Um, and I want to keep Reflect and Hypnosis. Those are good. So I wasted keeping him at level uh, 17 because Stomp isn't any good. But it's okay. It's okay. I still got him to be an Exeggutor, and that's going to up his stats significantly. It is very cool to have one. Yeah. Yeah. Kick some ass. His stats are nice. He's got s He's got just so good special attack. His other stats aren't great, but his special attack is so good. Um, he's, he's a really good poke athlete too, and he's average all up and down. Puppy's, of course, excellent at skill and jump, and pretty decent at speed. And this was surprised me. Pyramid's a great speed. You can't do no better than that. But poke athlon stuff isn't really that concerning for you guys, is it? All right, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm sorry it's so long, unless you like that it's long, in which case, oh well, enjoy the video. And uh, like it if you like it. And subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time.